What's up Xbox Series S fam, it's Murray back with another video for your faces and one of the big concerns of the Xbox Series S is the storage size. The hard drive is 512 gigabytes and of that you get about 380 or 360 gigabytes which you can actually use and you can see I've got quite a lot in here and you might be thinking how are you doing that? Well I have actually got an external SSD plugged in, a nice little 200 and 56 gigabyte one and you guys can check that out down below in the description it's a western digital one i recommend it it's fantastic really fast and if you've got an older console it'll actually speed up your old xbox one s for games like pubg and stuff like that which are really slow but for this it's just good for storage so you can see here i've got a couple of games if you go into view contents i've got forza gears 5 paladins and pubg in there so if you're looking to free up some space all you need to do is plug in the ssd to your xbox series s make sure it's formatted for series s so you can use it and then view the contents of your series s and then select what you want to copy over so for the purposes of this video we're just going to select bright memory and we're going to click on it and then we are going to go to manage game and add-ons and then we are going to click on it again and then we're going to go to move or copy and then it will allow us to select the game boom and then we can move the game over to our external hard drive and you can see how quickly that goes it's a really small game this one but it's just a really good game to use for um, an example here for you bear in mind though you do lose all Xbox Series S or X enhanced features if you copy over to an external hard drive which is not one of the official Seagate hard drives which you plug into the back of the console which are very expensive so this is a good way to back up your all your Game Pass games, your backwards compatibility games, just get them all on the external hard drive so you do not need to re-download them all the time and they'll be able to play from there. So you can see that's now over on the external hard drive. If I click on it, you can see it will not work because it is a Series S and X enhanced game, but that's just to show off that you can move it over there. But for games that are not enhanced games, let's have a look at them. So let's click on Paladins and see how it runs from the external SSD. Boom, there we go. Menu or load screen has popped up instantly, which is nice. And I don't think we should notice much difference from this actually being on the hard drive at all. This is not an enhanced game, so it should run pretty good. You see I've not been on it forever. So there's a save frame. Login is Murray, that's me. Tempting login. Do do do. Accept. Do, 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 do. Loading profile. Skip tutorial. There we go. We're in a game. Uh, Europe. Uh, let me do a team deathmatch. Oh, okay. Join queue. Yeah. Oh, what? It's like we're just like Halloween skins have got on. Yeah. So let's see. Oh, and we're getting into a game already. Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch. Choose right. your champion. Choose my champion. Man, there's so many since I was last year. I don't know who to go. Uh, oh no. Oh no, I don't know. We'll go Ruckus. I'm pretty sure he had a cool mech. So let's do that. Press and hold. Boom. Customize your champion. Yeah. Uh, customize? My goodness, I have no idea what to do. Let's just stick with the default, yeah. Here we go, let's see how a game runs off the external SSD on Xbox Series S. And remember, if you want to pick up this external SSD I'm using, I will leave a link down below in the description for you all. Check it out on my Amazon store. Pick it up, it's pretty good, Western Digital. It's a nice, really, really small one actually, so that's good. It's not like a big bulky box that's gonna take up loads of, loads of room, especially since the Series S is so small itself. Here we go. Team Deathmatch, Trade District. Eliminate all enemy players. Okay, let's go. Oh, and we're in. And there we go. Running nice. So far. Let's go. 
three. No idea what the two, map is in this one. I've not one. played this game in about a year. So it begins. Go. Right. The battle is Ooh, a nice little boost. Oh, I do remember this one. Any other cool wins here? Whoa! An enemy has drawn first blood. What? Yes! Oh, we killed someone. And we got an achievement for it. Nice! Not like this. Not like this. Oh, okay. Oh, the rockets as well, what the heck? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Oh, got a little bit of a killing spree here. Oh no! It just got wiped out by Maeve. What? Oh, grenade! Stay away from that. Got me some people. Enemy killing spree. Enemy double kill. Whoa! Oh no! Get out of here! Oh crap, get out, get out, get out, get out! Right, so you can see installing non-enhanced games on external hard drive just runs perfectly and you can have a lot of fun and get a lot more storage on your Series S for a much, much cheaper price than buying the official expandable storage but then again, you need to buy that if you want to play enhanced games, whoa. But if you're just going to be playing a whole bunch of Game Pass games, maybe some indie games, some back catalogue games, this is the way to do it, I'd recommend. Oh man, smoked! Smoked! Yeah, come on. Oh, another one fights the dust! Oh yeah! Absolute destruction! Get out of my game! Killing spree! Oh yeah! This is so much fun! Also this game is free to play if you've never played it. Download it from the shop and jump on in! A lot of fun! Basically like a free Overwatch. Yeah. Oh yes! Victorious! And another achievement! Untouched. Oh yeah. When a match with the enemy team scored no points. What? That's gotta be a glitch, but I'll take it. No points? Did they just quit the game or something? I don't know. Protector! Yeah! There we go. Loving it. Very, very cool. So hopefully you enjoyed that quick video. That is how games run on external storage on the Xbox Series S. Remember these are not enhanced games. If you have any questions down below about external storage and Xbox Series S, please let me know down below in the comments. I'll try and answer them or make a video for your faces. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one my friends.